All right, guys, we got a fun one today. Recently, a friend of mine, Jonathan Bates from Jay's Custom Creations, made a camping nesting chair. I believe it was out of white oak, but it could be easily be done out of three quarter inch plywood. Uh, he had templates, which are really, really neat. And off camera, he made a smaller version for his daughter. And I wrote him and said, dude, I have to do that. I'm starting to make furniture for my daughter and I would love to have that be part of my collection because it's easy to store and put away and then bring out when she's ready to play. So Jay sent me templates that were about half size. He's got amazing plans on his website. He also sells these templates, which are absolutely incredible. They come in two pieces. They snap together and they have absolutely, they just have absolutely no play. So they are wonderful. They're cut on the laser uh, and they're really easy to use. So I'm gonna show you how to make this chair. It's nice and simple, only takes an afternoon uh, and it just looks beautiful. It, stores easily so you can just put it away so let's get into milling some lumber Okay, so now that we have everything milled down to three quarters of an inch width, and we have one square side, uh, we're gonna rip those down to two inches wide here in a minute, and that's all in the directions, which are really, really helpful. What's cool about what Jay has done is these are two-piece templates, the way they come to you, which saves a ton of money on shipping. I know I do a lot of shipping, and when you get over a certain length, they start dinging you big time, so it saves money. They just snap together, just like that, and there's zero play in them. They don't move around. Uh, and then I'm going to double stick tape that to my board, which I have selected out of my group. And I'm gonna trace it out, trim it down close to the line on the bandsaw. Then we're gonna flush trim it with my favorite bits from Bits Bits, the ultimate combination trim bit. They put their Astro coating on it. There's a 15% off discount code down below. Um, so let's get this all trimmed up and head over to the router table. And after that, we'll trim all our slats down to two inches and cut them to length, which is about 14 and a half inches. So I realized that it's absolutely not a mistake, it's just another step I have to do. The way that Jay designed these is you use a quarter inch round over bit uh, to make your slats, and so these are perfect quarter inch fillets, or however you say them. If it was French, it would be a filet, but that's what you call it, infusion, when you make those quarter radiuses. I'm gonna have to come in with a half inch diameter bit to get this quarter inch radius. This is a one inch diameter bit. So it just left a little bit of those corners. So I'm gonna route these out. And then I also forgot to drill out the hole for this center support here. So we're gonna go to the drill press, drill that out, and then we'll also get it with this bit because this bit won't fit in there. Okay, so now we are going to trim these to width. Now this is where something like 
the Cats Moses no deflection stop block would come in very, very handy. We're gonna set that to our width, which I believe is 14 and a half. I gotta go look at the plans. Um, but Jay has amazing plans on his site, so trust those, not me. Um, and then we're gonna put a quarter inch round over on all the long sides and a super easy way to tell if you have a quarter inch round over a bit, like if you're like me where you just kind of throw them in a box sometimes, is take a half inch shank bit and just hold it up. And if it's perfect, then you got a quarter inch round over. Uh, so we're gonna cut these to length, round these over, and then we're gonna head over to the assembly table and start putting this thing together. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and start putting this thing together. Now, like I said, Jay's got great directions, but we're gonna do a quarter inch overhang on all our pieces. We're gonna start with the backrest, and this is where a couple of my white oak accent pieces are gonna come into play. And you want a quarter inch overhang, so instead of trying to measure that, I just milled up a piece that is a quarter inch thick. I'm gonna set my piece on top of it and just use it like that, and then we have a perfect quarter inch equal overhang throughout. So the way you get started is by clamping up a grid. And because of the way these are designed, when you clamp these up, it's gonna create a square. You do wanna go in and check and make sure things are square before you start shooting your screws. But then you're going to use a drill bit uh, with a countersink. Here's a great one from Whiteside that I got from Bits Bits. Again, coupon code. And this thing works great because you can just set it to the length. I've set it perfectly to my screw. And so I know that when I get that perfect countersink that I'm at my correct depth as well. And of course you want to check and make sure that you're not going through your piece. So we're going to go ahead and put these together with quarter inch overhang, and then we'll address the other piece. Okay, next we are going to do what is the seat. And this is very simple. You're just gonna stick it inside your other piece. You wanna use a nail like a 16th of an inch or so. And then you're going to use a clamp and make sure you clamp lightly because you don't want to leave the impression of your nail in there. And you're gonna do your captured slat last, but we're gonna do these first. And I'm just gonna do one side at a time right now. And we wanna maintain the same overhang that we had before. So these are still the same length. So you're gonna use the outside of the chair to maintain your overhang. I'm gonna use my spacer that I created to line it up. And we're just gonna do one side at a time. Now you're gonna take your centerpiece and stick it through here. You're gonna encapsulate that by screwing it in from the bottom. And you're gonna to wanna to flush trim it with like this Suisan flush trim saw, get it flush. And this is where you're gonna find out how good your measurements are. I am almost dead nuts, but uh, just a little 240 is gonna get her right in there. So uh, this is your last piece. Then you're gonna sand it and give this thing some finish.
Wow, guys, that came out amazing. I am so stoked on this. It just, it looks great. It's gonna match my bigger chair. It's gonna be great furniture for my daughter. Uh, I wanna thank Jay Bates for making these plans and making it so dang easy. I mean, this took me like three and a half hours to do from start to finish, and it came out phenomenal. I love how uh, easy it is to take apart and store, just nests right into itself, so. You just put it in the closet or whatever. Great project. Uh, the link to the templates, both the big ones and the small ones, are down below in the description and the pinned comment. Head over to Jay's. I don't get paid for it, and it's not an affiliate link. Jay's just a buddy of mine and an awesome dude. Obviously, you know him if you know me. I mean, Jay's a, a legend. But thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you want to support the channel, head over to the shop and get a t-shirt, dovetail jig, or stop block. Stay safe in the shop. Have a wonderful day.